rainforest canopy there are many ecological resources. Many small creatures have evolved to exploit them. One of those creatures is the kinkajou. They resemble a lemur or some other kind of primate, that is why many people would kill them in the past. They are usually called the honey bear because of its golden fur and sharp pointed teeth. Kinkajous are nocturnal which means that they will only go out in the night. Other animals such as jaguars and mountain lions are usually the ones that feed of kinkajous but their biggest predator is us. Humans hunt them down for their thick soft fur and also to serve as exotic pets. What people don't know is that they are actually a member of the carnivore order. The kinkajou spends almost its entire life in the trees. With its huge claws and long tail it can easily move from branch to branch. Even though the kinkajous are a part of the carnivore order it feeds exclusively on fruit. The kinkajou actually helps the fruit trees by dropping seeds everywhere making more trees. The kinkajou also has an above average town size making it easy for them to get nectar from a flower. In this way it acts like a bee. It is one of the main creatures prolonging the life of an ecosystem. This is a great goal for a carnivore's species. Kinkajous can breed any time of the year but they usually choose a time when the fruits are ripe. Kinkajous change from place to place. What I mean is that a kinkajou found in Monteverde will have different diets, behavior and breeding season than one found in Brazil. A kinkajou family is usually composed of three integrates, two males and a female. One male is subordinate and the other is dominate. When they first try to find a girl they would follow her zigzagging across multiply hectares while having scent glands sexually stimulate the girl. While this is happening it is likely that the subordinate male would be screaming and picking fights with the dominate male. It is possible that both males would mate with the same female without a fight, but not that likely. Kinkajous are one of the few species that are considered both polygamous and polyandrous. In a polygamous mating system, individuals of one or the other sex have more than one mate during the breeding season. An example of this would be the gorilla. In a polyandrous mating system the female is the one that goes and mates with other males during the breeding season. An example of this would be the bee. To say that kinkajous are both polygamous and polyandrous means that they work in an open relationship. This means that the male or the female can go and mate with other mates without having to sacrifice anything. This can be considered both good and bad. Good because then they will be creating more babies and bad because if you are having 10 babies how are you going to take care of them all? The way the kinkajous can attract women is by scent. Like I said earlier the kinkajou male leaves scent so that it stimulates the female sexually. They also use the scent to mark territories. The stronger and more stimulating the scent the more likely the kinkajou is going to get to reproduce. We do not know much about kinkajous there are still a very mysterious creature mostly due to the fact that they are very hard to spot and they run away easily. Never going to give you up.